we review a beast of an electric scooter next on Now You Know. This is the eMove electric scooter by Voro Motors. A very interesting scooter. We did a review of the Show Me Me, which is another electric scooter a while back, and the eMove is a very different beast. The Show Me looked far more like a traditional scooter. The board was low to the ground, it had small wheels, and it was fairly light and compact. And I thought this would just be another scooter, but no. The eMove was clearly made with the intention of long distance commuting and riding in mind. With a tall board, big tires, dual suspension, and a staggering 62 mile range, this scooter is certainly something special. Let's take a look. The eMove has a form factor that looks more like a surfboard than a scooter in some ways. It may seem a little big, but big board and tire size makes for a really comfortable riding experience. The scooter can hold over 350 pounds, so it can hold you and your backpack with ease and even support two adults, though we really don't see a need for that. Our scooter did come with underinflated tires though, and while that could have just been our model, it's important that you check yours before you go riding. It has a folding design, but because of how large parts of the scooter are, we don't think you'll be using this too much at destinations like your workplace or home. We thought the folding was good for either placing the scooter in the car or for inside your garage. This is an expensive scooter, and luckily the build quality is really good. The scooter feels very premium, and the suspension we mentioned makes the ride really smooth. Something to be careful about, though, is the tires being punctured in any way. The air valves to inflate the tires are quite hard to get to, and based on our experience, any puncture on scooter wheels requires replacement by a professional, like a bike shop. Another downside is the weight. The eMove is heavy. Coming in at 51 pounds, you won't want to be carrying this around if you can help it. 51 pounds is like a bag of concrete, so lifting it is no small feat. On the handlebars of the eMove, you have this small screen where you can see your speed, power level, and battery life. We wish that we could get a number like 71% for battery life or a range indicator that would show how many miles we have left on the charge. Though we would prefer these, the five level battery indicator gives you a good enough idea. The screen also has a menu system that allows you to change various settings in the scooter. This is a great addition, but all of the menus are labeled only P and then a number. So unless you have the manual memorized, it's really easy to forget what these different pages do. Also on the handlebars, you have a horn, which is pretty quiet, a light, which is a good functional headlight, and turn signals. Now, I don't know how functional these are. Honestly, we forgot about them quickly after we started to ride. One last thing, the back wheel brakes are on the left handlebar. It's nothing you can't get used to, but it's the opposite to a lot of bikes. And you want to be careful you don't hit the right side brakes and go flying over the handlebars. The scooter has three power levels, which limit top speed. Out of the box, the scooter is limited to 33% power, which was kind of a shock when we first got it. We used the manual and we had to go into that menu system I talked about and we had to unlock the speed gate. But we wish there was a way to know about this without having to dig through the manual. Maybe there could have been an icon on the screen. Speaking of speed, the eMove is quite fast for a scooter. It can do an impressive 25 miles an hour top speed, which really comes in handy on a long commute. And honestly, I wouldn't want to go much faster than that. Now, the real selling point for this scooter is the amazing range. The scooter can get up to 62 miles of range. It charges in six to eight hours on a standard brick charger. We wish that there were a couple more options to charge, maybe one for the car. Aside from the battery, the range capability is made possible by the comfortable suspension and the 10-inch wheels. Without comfort or safety, no one would want to travel such a far distance on a scooter. Jesse put that range to the test. Uh, what are you doing, Jess? Well, you know, we took it for a ride around and it was, it was fun, it was good to ride, it was fast and everything, but I mean, the true test of this thing is distance. And we have a perfect opportunity today. It's so cold out. This is the worst of the worst case scenario for commuting in this thing. So I'm gonna take this, right now we're in uh, Lexington. I'm gonna ride it all the way to Cambridge and I'm gonna see how I feel after the ride. But Jesse, it's like 25 degrees out. 
Yeah, right. So, uh, you know, I'll wear gloves and, and a hat, and I've got like five. Are those, are those snow pants? Yeah, I got snow pants on. I'll be nice and toasty warm. This is really a test of the battery, because this is the worst case, you know, scenario for the battery. It says it has 62 miles, so I mean, it should be a piece of cake. But, you know, this is the true test. I want to see how comfortable it is. I want to see, you know, if the range is good, if the speed is good, if people are going to yell at me. You know, see what, see what it's like to take this for a real trip. All right, see you later. All right. All right, so uh, Jesse has shared his location with us so we can follow him, and uh, it is cold outside. I don't know if you can see this, but it is, uh, it's 28 degrees out. So we can track him, and he says he wants to make it all the way to Cambridge, which is miles and miles from here, but uh, well, I don't know if he's gonna make it that long. We'll see. So uh, what do you think, Jesse? That was uh, how many miles? That was probably eight miles, yeah, seven 20 miles. 20 minutes. It was 11 kilometers. 11 kilometers. So yeah, six miles, something like that. That felt really good. It felt yeah. like nothing. So we were following you and Sparky kind of going parallel on the road. Yeah. And you were basically keeping up with us. Like we had to kind of sprint to get in front of you. Really? Yeah. Because I mean, you're what, going 25 miles an hour? Um, you know, I noticed that I instinctually slowed down and there were people around. Because 25 miles an hour is too fast like that's to, gonna to zip by someone yeah that's gonna frighten someone so I would slow down to about 20 or 18 um, so between I would say 25 and, and 18 miles an hour so I mean on basically on normal streets we had trouble keeping up with you because you had no stoplights to speak of right I mean I had a couple stop signs here and there and and um, you know getting around people it's not, not that hard and so how was it like transitioning from you know streets like when you had to go over bumps it's really nice yeah. I mean this is really where the suspension shines is is that transition and you know the, the bumps on the road it was able to handle those um, whereas on on my you know on the the show me scooter it would be like right you could just be like you know and it would just kind of bump along because I was thinking before that this was more just for fun but you could really take this to work couldn't you oh yeah so Jesse how's the battery doing the battery's doing great. I mean, I saw it at three bars at one point. Um, I think that's just when you're using it, you know, so maybe, and I mean, keep in mind, it is 25 degrees outside today. Yeah. So, I mean, this is doing great. The one thing that I definitely forgot to grab from the car was my safety glasses. That would come Why do you need safety glasses? I'm going so fast, like, te I'm tearing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, where is Jesse? I've been waiting, like, Oh, there he is. Oh. Wow, looks like you've had quite the run. Yeah. Was it cold? It was cold, but you know, it was, uh, made it. How's your range? I still have three bars. Nice. That was 44 minutes, 20 kilometers, on top of the 11 that we did before uh -huh. and even before that. So, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Success? Success. And this was cold weather. This is the cold, I mean, you are not going to take this out. I'm wearing snow pants. Right. You are not taking this out when it's colder than this. So this is the this is the range. So I mean, I made it to where like Arlington. Yeah. And then I made it all the way back to Burlington. Yeah. And that was with no break in between. That was 30 kilometers total. So I mean, the shocks really do take the the fatigue out of the ride. Yeah. I mean, there were some bumps, especially I was taking some bumpy sidewalks at one point, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it handled it really well. Big tree roots and stuff. You know, you slow down a bit, and it, it takes them. You don't have to hop off like I would on my on my show me. You know, the cold weather mostly is for the range. I don't think I don't expect you to get this suited up to to go for your ride. I think that this would be great in summer. Um, it's not summer now, and we, we can't wait six months to show you. So that's why we're doing it now. Right. But. I mean, great commuter. Overall, we found the E-Move to be a great piece of tech for commuters due to the impressively comfortable ride and excellent range. You really have to experience it to get it. The fun and riding experience is the real difference between this and an e-bike. It's not even a scooter if you think about it because the wheel size and the suspension kind of take it out of the scooter class. It makes it feel more capable. It's basically the best riding experience we've had on a scooter. Thank you so much for watching this review of the e-move e-scooter. We hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. Now you know.